Hi, hello everyone. My name is Vivek. I am a software developer. I have also been contributing to Canister recently. And in this particular session, we are going to look into how we can use Canister to back up your Postgres application. But before actually uh, looking into the demo, let's talk about Postgres and Canister uh, a bit. So I think most of us already know that Postgres is a, a relational database that is being used by most of these companies on production. But if we talk about Canister, Canister is an open source project that can be used by used by uh, whoever is running their databases on, on Kubernetes. So it can basically be used by the teams to manage manage data of the stateful applications uh, that is running on Kubernetes cluster. So it can it can be used either by those teams or it can also be used by the, the products that is working in the same space as, as uh, the backbone to, to achieve a workflow or to run a workflow. Now we are calling Canister a Kubernetes native native framework because it very heavily uses uh, Kubernetes APIs, custom custom resources or custom APIs uh, to achieve all these things uh, that we just talked about. If we talk about the basic building blocks of, of Canister project, so we basically have introduced three custom APIs or three custom resources, uh, profile, group, blueprint and action set. So the workflow that we have been talking about, so for example, if uh, there are some things that you want to do while backing up your application. You can define all those things in a specific resource that is called blueprint resource. And we have introduced all these, we introduce all these uh, custom resources as soon as you install canister. So to specify this entire workflow, you can create a blueprint resource. Now, when you have specified a blueprint resource, you will, have, you will have to actually call something from that workflow, from that blueprint. And to call, let's say, a particular action, for example, backup action, you can create an action set. And that is the reason we have introduced another, another resource called action set. So once you specify, once you create an action set, you also have to specify a blueprint where that action is present and you can also specify the action from that blueprint so this is where this is how action sets and blueprints work together now if we talk about profile so let's let's take an example or let's talk about this use case where you have taken backup of your application and you want to export it or you want to upload it to a particular centralized object location, let's say. And that is where profiles come into picture. So you can create a profile to specify the details about your object store. Now that we know about all those, all those custom resources, uh, let's talk about how all these things work together to achieve backup and backup and let's say restore. So if you see here, we can see that uh, the first step to actually back up your application is going to be uh, creating the action set. Action set is actually the step where the action or backup action, let's say, actually gets triggered. So as soon as we, we create the action set, our, our controller, canister controller is going to figure out the blueprint from the action set and it is going to get that blueprint to actually see or to actually get to know what are all the things that are specified in the blueprint and in the blueprint we can specify all these workflow using canister functions and that is that is uh, what we have specified here using cube exec and cube task cube exec and cube task are some of the functions that we support uh, in, in blueprint and as soon as we figure out a phase or a step from the action we can we run when I say we I mean canister controller runs that particular action and if that action needs to let's say upload the data to a particular object store in that case we use profile so this is how all these things work together to actually achieve backup and restore. Uh, now that we have set up a very basic understanding of canister, let's go ahead and try to actually see how we can how we can use canister uh, to back up Postgres. So first of all, we are going to we already have a Kubernetes cluster set up, and we are going to 
create a namespace canister and this is where we are going to install the canister operator or canister application so if you see here to install canister we are using helm chart from this particular repo because we know that canister is distributed as as a helm application so if we try to get all the pods from canister namespace you can see that uh, the pod is successfully running and once we know that the pod is successfully running what we can do is we can go ahead and try to uh, create the postgres database so or install the postgres database so we want to install that in postgres hyphen test namespace and so that is the reason we have created the namespace and now we are going to install the postgres database and we are going to again use helm chart that is being maintained by a uh, bitnami so as soon as i hit enter we should be able to see a pod in the in the postgres hyphen test namespace and we will have to wait for uh, this pod to to be up and running and once that particular pod is up and running what we can do is uh, we can insert some data in, in in a specific database just so that we can make uh, that something bad happened and the data was deleted and then we would actually restore that data so now that we see the pod is running let's exit into uh, that pod and then we are actually going to insert some data into a database so this is how we are trying to get the we are trying to connect to uh, the postgres database and we have if you see here we have specified username and password and once we are into the postgres shell what we can do is we can we can see all the databases that are that are there already we see that there are three three databases so let's go ahead and create one database called test and then connect to that connect to that database uh, once we have connected to that database let's go ahead and try to try to create a table and to create a table we have to we have to run this particular command and once table is created what we can do is we can we can also create a table inside or sorry we can we can insert a row inside that table and now that the row has been inserted we can see all the all the entries from that table using select query and now that now that we have if you see we have installed canister we have installed postgres database we have also inserted a query or, or a row inside inside uh, the new table that we have created now what we have to do is we have to integrate this postgres database uh, with canister and when i say we have to integrate what we have what what i mean is we have to create the respective blueprint and blue profile resources so to do that uh, i am going to create the profile resource so if you see here i'm, I'm using this a uh, can cuttle utility that gets shipped with a uh, canister and we are, I'm also specifying that the object storage that I'm using is S3 compliant uh, there are some other supported as well as well that you can that you can check and I have also set the credentials in these environment variables and if you see here we are also creating this profile in the postgres hyphen test namespace so profiles should be created created or must be created in in the namespace where your application is running so as soon as i hit enter this this profile uh, should be created and once the profile is created we are going to create the blueprint so meanwhile it's being created uh, let's go ahead and try to look into uh, the blueprint resource so if you see here in this blueprint api or resource we are just trying to specify some actions and these actions are backup and restore and for every action we can specify some steps or phases so for example here if you see this is one phase similarly you can specify any other phase as well if if uh, your use case uh, requires that and when we have created this blueprint we can run a specific action if you see here the name of this action is backup so we can run this particular action by specifying that in the in the action set so if you see here the the profile has been created and to create the blueprint we are just going to copy this url i'm going to i'm going to specify this github repo in the slides as well so if you want to 
check that out you can do that so create hyphen f and blueprints must be created in in the namespace where controller is running so we know that controller is running in canister namespace so i'm going ahead uh, ahead and hitting enter now that the blueprint has been created what we have to do is we have to actually uh, create the create the action set and to do that i am going to use i am going to use this particular command again so if you see here uh, create action set and this can cuttle command is actually going to create an action set resource and that is going to trigger trigger the action that we have specified here so if you see uh, we are creating action set we want to run backup action from this this blueprint that we have created here and we are also specifying the object that the object where or against which the blueprint should uh, work on and we also have to specify the profile so let's go ahead and try to specify uh, the profile here so if you see here action set has been created successfully and now canister operator is actually or controller is actually doing the things that it is it is supposed to so if we describe the the action set if you see here the the in the events we can see that uh, the controller is actually executing this pg dom step or phase right now so what we will have to do is we will have to wait for that pg dump step to be completed and as soon as that step is completed what we are going to do is we are going to just to mimic that something bad happened we are going to delete the things from the database and then we are going to restore it from the backup that we have created so if i if i see if i try to describe the action set once again uh, if you see here it says that the action set has been uh, completed successfully so now that the action set has been completed successfully let's exec into into uh, the database once again and this time we are going to delete the records that we have inserted because we have taken uh, we have taken the backup and to delete that what we are going to do is we are going to get the postgres shell and then if we list all the databases we can see that test database is there and let's run drop database test and if you see the database has been dropped successfully and now we are just able to see three three uh, rows here so now that we have deleted the data from the database uh, let's go ahead and try to try to uh, restore so to, to restore the to restore the data we are if you see here we have also specified what, what should happen uh, in case of restore action so if you see here we are again creating uh, an action set by specifying by specifying uh, the 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 backup action set so if you remember when we created when we created a backup action set we did get we did get one let's say identifier of the action set and this is the this is the identifier so we want to run uh, restore from this particular backup action set and as soon as i hit enter if you see the restore action has also been created and let's go ahead and try to describe this uh, action set so we also have to specify uh, the namespace and if you see here it says the action set restore has been completed successfully so now that it has been completed let's again go ahead and log in into into the database to check if the data has been actually actually restored or not so getting the shell of postgres and if we list all the databases you can see here that test database has been restored successfully and we can actually connect to that database and we can see that there is a table uh, with our row inserted in it and this is this is what we deleted to imitate disaster so now now that we have looked into the demo if you see uh, this is exactly what we wanted to show in this particular session uh, we can the thing that i want to emphasize on is uh, we can actually define the way using which we want our application to be backed up and that can be done using using blueprints uh, if you want to get in touch with us you can obviously join canisters slack workspace 
uh, you can look into the issues in Cancer GitHub repo if you want to contribute to them. And we also get into bi-weekly community meetings. So you can try to uh, join them as well. Uh, thank you so much.